Welcome back to John Cleese Car Audio. My name is Connor. This is our YouTube channel. Today I am in a Defender Land Rover Puma, which is a 2015 model to be exact, one of the later Defenders. They wanted to get rid of the factory stereo because they wanted Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, we wanted DAB radio. They wanted good coverage of radio reception, so we replaced the antiquated pull-up area, which we'll show you shortly. And we also put a reverse camera to help with manoeuvring this vehicle on the back as well. Now let's show you what it looks like. So this has had the double DIN conversion. This is where we replace the dashboard fascia for this new fascia fitting kit, which allows you to fit a seven inch screen flushed in opposed to a floating style screen. And then the buttons that would normally go around your old radio get relocated to the right here, which is extremely accessible and easy to use. So your fog, your washer, jet, your rear washer and your rear windscreen wiper are all there, as well as your hazard button. This customer's also got a Clifford alarm we've installed, so that's what that flashing LED's there for, because we obviously install security systems on Defenders, stop them from being stolen. Now you can have obviously these motorized screens that flip up, or you can have the floating style screens, but they're not that ideal and they're not particularly safe because the hazard switch then gets hidden behind the screen. So this fitting kit is the best fitting kit to go for to keep the buttons accessible and it's safe. So even if you wanted a nine inch floating screen, we would still use this fitting kit to allow the buttons to be accessible over here. A nice fitting kit. It also replaces up here and keeps your clock working as well. So it's, you know, it's a nice finish as you can see. Well, I'm gonna turn it on, show you what it actually looks like switched on. You turn the ignition on. Unit will come on. We put the Land Rover logo on as well, just so it's more in keeping with the vehicle rather than the logo of the brand that we're fitting. Let's get past the disclaimer. Now this unit has got wireless Apple CarPlay, so no need to plug your phone in. My phone is here. The connection's already established, so if we wait a few seconds, bang, it will appear on the screen just like that. Now this is a capacitive touchscreen, so if I go into my CarPlay screen, and I scroll, it is the responsive touchscreen. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on the screen for it to operate. It's really smooth to use and intuitive. We have wireless Android Auto as well. So if you're an Android user, it is also still wireless. So no need to plug your phone in either. Now this unit's also had a reverse camera added as well, as I mentioned earlier. So if I just put it in reverse. Oh, the ignition's not on. Hang on a second. There you go, put it in reverse. The reverse camera is going to come on. We've actually put the reverse camera at the highest position on this vehicle, so I'll go around the back and show you that. reason why we do that is you get a good view, because the spare wheels on the back of these give you a bit of a, a block and a blind spot. So having it right at the top means I can see quite a nice view all the way around on the corners. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. As I mentioned, DAB radio is a given. I'll show you the area we fitted shortly, because we replaced the area to get the best DAB coverage. This is the DMX8021 unit. Just for example, there's the box there. Absolutely outstanding unit. We've, you've probably seen it a lot as I keep mentioning on our videos. Three year warranty when installed by ourselves and just a general great unit. It's superseded an older model, which is one of the best sellers as well. So great unit. Now let's show you the reverse camera, what it looks like on the back. Just mounted there on top of the washer jets like so. And then uh, yeah, it's seemingly easy to use. And looks nice up there as well, out the way, but gives you a great view. The aerial I mentioned we replaced is this one right here. Short stubby air with a removal mask, so you can unscrew this and take this off should you wish to. We actually have a, a couple of um, options for aerials in these vehicles. We can also do a metal base one that goes vertically standing up that sits a bit taller if you prefer. But personal preference, this customer wanted a small stubby aerial that picks up DAB and FM. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention is we actually installed a front camera on this as well, which is right there now that front camera gives the customer a bit more of a visibility when pulling forwards up to options now i'm going to give you a, an option of what i'll show you what that looks like so if i go to camera now the camera button on the front and then i change to front you can actually see there and you can see the top of the number plate there so you can actually get a good perspective looking down so the customer now yeah when driving around forwards they can use the front camera and they can also select the rear because we actually wired it up so the cameras can be used while in motion as well as automatically switch in reverse nice little options don't know the cub bits on this uh, defender but this is all i'm going to go through on this video yeah it looks good 
If you like what you see, you know what to do. Get in contact, drop us a message on WhatsApp, send us an email on infojohncleese.com or just comment on our YouTube channel because we are always there to reply to our comments and questions on there as well. But for now, that's Connor and the team at John Cleese Car Audio signing off. See you later.